Okay, so there's a reference photo. And if you look toward the top of that photo, um, you know, if you really s strain your eyes, you will see individual leaves, but I don't want you to do that. I want you to more squint at the photo. This is one of the keys to simplifying complexity is you need to simplify it just by how you view it. So if you squint at the photo, you'll start to see areas where there's more dark and more light. And that's exactly what you want to paint, okay? And let me sh go to my um, final painting here really quick. And you can see how I tried to simplify the uh, masses of leaves up there. I, I um, painted mostly darks, added some lights here and there, and then we go in for some individual leaves at the end. But don't start that way. And I'm going to show you here exactly what I mean. So I'm going to grab... Sticking with my number four brush. And right in here, I'm just adding masses of dark. I'm not going dot, 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 dot like that. You don't want to do that. Now, I still have to finish this branch right here. So I'm going to kind of paint around that right now. I'm going to finish that here in a few minutes. And you guys can follow along. And I'm going to come out here just with a larger mass. Okay, we're not doing individual leaves. We're thinking of the shape of the overall mass of leaves, the shape that that creates. So you're thinking about it from a design perspective. And I'm gonna come over here and add some of that here. And I'm gonna add just a little more ochre, and I added just a touch of burnt sienna to this as I come over here. And maybe just a touch of cat yellow light. It's getting a little warm though, so I wanna be careful with that. Just coming down with this, thinking about the overall mass at this point. And then I'm gonna come over here once again, I'm going to put in some of this. Now, I have a lot of wet paint over here, so using the full strength actually helps because I can just kind of mix, blend this into the underlying areas of paint. And it gets a little cool in there. And if that starts to happen because we have a lot of white up here, if it starts getting a little too cool, just grab a little bit of um, cadmium yellow light and mix it in with your dark. And that should help offset that effect of white that you might have mixing in to your paint, which makes it too cool. You can also use yellow ochre to you probably get the same effect. And once again, we're just thinking of the bigger masses and shapes. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come down. Just like that. So I'm going to stop there. Yeah, I'll stop there. There's a couple other spots where it needs to go, but I want you guys to be able to catch up.